Hello, Harvest Choice, and good morning. I'm a floating head. And I'm a skeleton. Today is Friday, October 31st, 2014, and my favorite day because I don't get judged for being creepy. While that may be true, he still needs to stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Today is Halloween, a holiday celebrated by many Americans in search of candy. But in the spirit, here are some fun facts on the candy-filled holiday. First, did you know that trick-or-treat used to be dance for a treat? Well, experts say that in Europe, you used to have to dance in exchange for some treats. Or, did you know that the first jack-o'-lantern tradition started out as carved turnips, potatoes, or beets? I wonder where this pumpkin thing came from. Well, that probably didn't give you the chills, but the weather today certainly will. The high will be 59 degrees during the day, but only 42 degrees during the night. You sadly may not be able to have eyeballs for lunch today, but you can have a burger slider on a roll or popcorn chicken with a goalishly good roll. Band sectionals today include 6th grade flutes, period 5, and 6th grade tubas, period 6. But be careful, I heard the band room is haunted by ghosts who can't seem to figure out how to play their instruments. There are no orchestra sectionals today because Miss McKay's room will be used for a zombie convention later. GT seminars today include period 1, grade 8 tech arts, period 3, seven, grade 7 tech, tech arts, and period 4, grade 6 tech arts. Keep quiet though, you don't want to wake the werewolves next door. Also, 7th graders who signed up for HTTV crew need to check the schedule on Mrs. Collins McCarthy's door so you know when to come in. I haven't been here long, but I've heard all about the latest buzz around school. The buzz going around is all about spelling bee tryouts, which are coming very soon. The spelling bee tryouts are on November 11th during periods 1 and 2. If you would like to participate in the 2015 Harper's Choice Spelling Bee, please get an application from your English teacher today. Don't worry, if you're scared of bees, no one there will be dressed as one. Did someone say something about a dance? The fall ball is Friday, November 7th from 3 o'clock to 4.30 in the Cougar Cafe. Make sure you get your permission slips handed in and purchase your tickets by November 6th. All girls going on the cybersecurity field trip November 12th should report to the cafeteria today at the beginning of period 2. Check in with your teacher first. The list of students is on the cafeteria windows. And if you guessed who this week's Throwback Thursday goal is, take a look at this video to see if you were right. I think this picture was taken when I was three, three and a half. It was my first school picture ever. And it's the most put together you will ever see me as a small child. It was taken in preschool. Yeah, I, uh, I didn't do really that well in preschool because I like to go to different stations when I wasn't supposed to. And I'd get yelled at a lot for doodling and for, you know, writing on stuff. And no surprise. <laughs> I grew up in a family of educators, so my dad's a teacher, my brother ended up being a teacher, my grandmother worked in the school system, so it was something I was always familiar with and something I always knew. Um, I didn't know I wanted to be an English teacher until I went to high school, and I had a really awesome high school English teacher. Um, so I actually thought of being a math teacher for a while, but don't tell Miss Sutner that. Um, I thought of being a history teacher, uh, and then once I had that one teacher, I realized that that's what I wanted to do, I wanted to be an English teacher, just like her. Well, being a teacher, there's something new every single day. And whenever people ask me, like, oh, what do you do for a living? I say, oh, I'm a teacher. And then I get the, oh, what do you teach? And then I say seventh grade, and then I get the, ugh. So I like that I get to deal with kids all the time. There's always something new. I always have a new story that I can tell. And kids are weird, and it's fun. And I'm weird, so it works out. That's fun. <laughs> Remember, it's a B-Day. Have a freaky Friday. Ooh.